Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're building this enormous apartment in San Mishino. It's the 888 Spire Apartments, which is a three story apartment basically. It's huge. I've seen I think one or two other creators build this apartment and both of them said that it was really difficult. It was like this looming task that they just didn't want to tackle. And then they did, and it was still a bit, like, difficult. And honestly, you guys, I really enjoyed this one. I didn't find it that difficult. And maybe it's just because I often build, like, these really large builds with tons of rooms. So it's not hard for me to do that. Of course, as always, I struggle with the tall wall height. That's just a part of building in The Sims 4 apartments at this point. Um, that's really the only thing I struggled with and I didn't add platforms to kind of fix that problem this time because I wanted to use these huge windows that let in a ton of light. I think it's really pretty and I didn't want to sacrifice that for a shorter appearing wall height. So yeah, this apartment, um, the way it came about was kind of interesting because originally and even the save file for a while in my game said boho apartment because i really wanted to build this very neutral colored boho apartment and when i started working on it in the kind of living area i hated how it looked and i could not for the life of me make it not look awkward I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's partly just the layout of the floor plan I chose to go with, but I was like, okay, this isn't working. We're going to scrap this idea and try going for something a bit darker. And then I remembered how much I love Felix's Soho set and I decided to go with this industrial apartment. And as you'll see, there's a ton of custom things in this build, which I always love to do because it just adds a little bit of uniqueness to the build, which is something when you've been building for a really long time that can be hard to come by. So I got inspired by Boana Sims. Um, she did this industrial apartment with the Soho set and did these custom walls with this Monstera plant from Felix and Harry's Jardin set. And I thought it looked so cool and it added so much life to the inside of the build, which is something I love to do. And I decided to kind of like take inspiration from that and use it in a couple of rooms, including the living room and loft and one of the bedrooms, I think, in this apartment. Um, it just looks really cool. So as you'll have noticed, the main floor of this apartment is very open. I use the Soho kind of dividers to divide off the space a little bit but it is very open otherwise and I really like that so we have the dining kitchen then the living and office and then there is a closed off bathroom that it if we're actually working on right now and then there's a the little balcony so this build has three bathrooms and basically one on each floor I tried really hard to make them also look a bit custom and unique because I really struggle with bathrooms. All of my other rooms, I feel like it can add all these bits and bobs to add some personality and kind of make it cohesive with the style of the rest of the build. And bathrooms, I feel like it's weird sometimes to add like books and stuff to a bathroom, but why not? <laughs> Maybe in real life that's not the best idea because they might get all like moldy and stuff from the steam, but in The Sims that stuff doesn't really matter, so you definitely can. So this is the lowest floor and this is where the main bedroom is located. So the reason I put the main bedroom on the lowest floor and not the highest is because I wanted to add this, this like huge walk-in closet and vanity room off of it and there was just a ton of space on this lower floor which I knew I was going to struggle a little bit with floor plan wise but it turned out really perfect. I added like I said this main bedroom suite. There's another bathroom. There's a home gym. The pool. I kept the pool. Made it a bit smaller and then there's like this little greenhouse potting planting area. This house has a ton of house plants so obviously you're going to need a little area to repot them and care for them and stuff as well so I decided to add that on this floor. So yeah this is basically the activity floor I guess pretty much. Um, Yeah it was kind of fun because I've never done 
a pool inside an apartment before. I've definitely done pools inside of houses before, which I always think is kind of fun and it's definitely a bougie thing to have because yeah, most houses, unless you're very, very rich, don't have indoor pools like that. So that's always kind of fun to do. So this is the downstairs bathroom. This is my favorite one. I really like how I did the shower in this. As you can see right now, it kind of reminds me a bit of like a locker room or something. It just looks really unique and I feel like it perfectly fits the style of this build. I don't know. Sometimes I just come up with these ideas off the top of my head and it's like I don't know where that came from because I've never seen a bathroom anything like this in real life but I think it's pretty cool so here's the gym I used a bunch of is it Sibulette I know I'm butchering that name probably but a bunch of her gym CC she collabed with someone else I, I think the collab was just um the the person made some of it functional for gameplay um I do love this set because we don't have a lot even between like base game and the fitness stuff pack in terms of like workout equipment that is like normal workout equipment so it's really nice to have that CC pack to add gyms and I really want to make an actual gym as well that's definitely something that has been on my mind for a while I just really never choose to do community lots over residential ones it's very rare that I do that Oh, so I know someone asked me a while back to build in Sulani. I am going to do that soon, you guys. I have, I think, two builds to come before it, but I am going to actually build a community lot in Sulani, a little spa. That's kind of the idea. Hopefully that will like stay that idea because sometimes I have an idea and then I start to execute it and everything changes like this build, for example. But yeah, that's kind of the thought right now is to do a little spa in Sulani, mostly for my own gameplay because I never take my sims to the spa and I think that would be a really fun place to do that. So yeah, that's something that's in my mind right now that will soon hopefully be in the works. So this is the loft area. So a trick I have for builds that are really, really large like this and that are two story or more is lofts so that only really works if they're kind of on the modern side but it really helps eat up a ton of that second floor space to add a loft and plus it looks really really cool it adds a ton of light into your build yeah it's definitely a tip of mine if you're struggling a little bit with floor plans and spaces and you like building big like me i try to build small and it often ends up just huge i don't know why i don't know why i do that but it just does it just does happen which is why I like building apartments now like besides this one because you're more limited in the space you have yeah it's it's coming along so anyways uh this is the final bathroom all of these bathrooms are full bathrooms like tub and shower which I don't think has ever happened before in any of my builds they're just this build is just really large so this is one of the final two bedrooms. This is just for a guest. I didn't want to add another personalized bedroom to this build. I kind of knew from the start I wanted it to be a guest room. Just because it's kind of fun to do that every once in a while. Just do a very generic bedroom. And that way you, if you guys want to play in this build you can kind of customize it however you like. For whichever sim you like or leave it the way it is this build honestly is not very custom to a specific sim other than the fact that there's a teenager's bedroom there's not really that many activities that are specific to anything this time around so you really can change it up you can do that with any of my builds but this one is one of those kind of blank slate builds a little bit so this is the teenager's bedroom this one has probably the most personality. I added some music. I imagine this teenager was into music, but that's about it in terms of sim specific like items. I actually did a little bit of pink in this bedroom, so it's got like a pink and black color scheme going on, which is kind of fun because there's not really any color in the rest of this build. I think there's a little bit of green here and there besides the plants, but yeah, this one was kind of fun. I struggled a bit with the tall wall height more in this room than any of the others, but yeah, I like how it turned out. Um, 
I like this little custom wall I did here for the desk. Oh, I think I like flipped the room. Yeah, <laughs> that happens sometimes. I think that happened to me once and I saved by accident. So I really messed up my build, which was not fun. I had to like re-download it, re -download it from the gallery to f and redo that whole room. Not ideal. Make sure you guys watch out for that because it is kind of easy to click that button to rotate the room and not realize you've done it. So yeah, this teenager also has a huge walk-in closet on this corner of the room. So we're coming to the end of this build now, you guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching to this point. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. My Patreon is also linked below in the description, and that will give you all the tray files and CC you need to download this build. It will also be uploaded onto the gallery at Lindsay Builds. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.